Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose coming with your weekly reading for July 17th to the 23rd, 2022. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, I don't give personal readings, so if someone solicits you, it is not me. Let's just get started here. Oh, two cards. We have emergence and we have enchantments. <laughs> This could be in relation to business and career. This could just be a sense of self. Um, I like this emergence because it feels like you're just, you see how she's just breaking the water here? Let me raise the card up. I think that that's you. You're waking up, you're, re you're feeling revived. Um, and that enchantment goes well with it because you are finding your mojo again you're finding that internal thing that makes you keep going keep striving um and keep it pushing i love this love this love this love this so you see two tarot decks on the table i will try to focus on general and love um general business career here love on my compass but Sometimes it's the same message across the board. I go where spirit guides me because uh, I not only read the cards, I read my intuition and I give you messages from my guides. That's how I work. We're going to turn these over. I was trying to get your center card, but uh, all these cards want to come out. So, ah, lovers. King of Wands. Seven of Wands. Page of Coins, Five of Wands, and then we have two additional cards that I will place here. Yeah, this is a partnership, and I don't think this is actually a love partnership. Lovers can dictate a business partnership as well because it's the two, um, at, and that's at the core of this. So I think that you are going to be in business with someone or if you're currently employed at a corporation you're just going to have that you know how you have that one connection that partner at work that you can uh rely on a little bit who kind of has your back i say kind of because i don't believe friendship and business always mix together right so we we want to do everything or we want to take it in um as as it resonates or as it um in business it's tricky right i work in corporate so in business it's you know you can develop friendships i have um but i also want to be careful with that because i also developed a friendship that was kind of a little bit weird and it turned into s to this competition thing that i didn't realize i was a part of and so that's what i want you to be um cautious of at the bottom of the deck, you have the four of coins, and this is things coming into balance with you. Uh, let's see here. I think, do I want to draw that? I want to draw these cards out because I want to get the fuller picture here. Your center card over here in terms of love is temperance, and it's, <laughs> you know, spirit never lets me down because the lovers is about balance as well, right? balance within a relationship the two you have the seven of cups the king of wands the hanged man you have the king of wands twice uh the four of cups and uh judgment i want you to be very weary weary about getting involved sexually with a co-worker and this is why i say this um as i drew this card this the, these cards out and uh, it's giving me the feel of you not separating your business and your personal life here and i want to talk specifically of that i and i and i thank spirit for giving me um the I the insight to tell you about be careful with certain people at work who may be your friend or partner, but really do not have your back. And there's some kind of weird co a competition here. 
be careful about whoever you draw into your business life, into your personal life. We want a kind of a separation there. I think it will be a conflict for you. I think you will possibly be in the situation I was in where it was um, a competition without being a competition, right, on the other person's part because some jealousy and envy comes into play here. So we have the love of lover's card in, in our general and business sense, and we have the king of wands here. This person may be a fire sign, may have that, um, I almost want to say Leo energy. Um, so I would be very careful of that person or anyone who, ha who, who is a fire sign. Because you're in protection mode. You are protecting against something here. So you're having some sensibility that all is not right here. Um, and you may have already crossed that border with this person. Either you're, you developed a friendship or you may have told them some of your business, but I want you to slowly retract. You don't want to do a full 360 because they may feel some type of way about it. Going back in our circle here, we have the page of coins because you're going to be recognized for something and you're going to start like a training program or um, like it's a step up. It's either a training program or you're going to be recognized uh, for something and that's going to bring in some uh, some instability there directed with that five of wands. So some type of um, argument or or malice, right? Not you being the person who is doing the malice, but you're going to be on the receiving end and you're not going to know why. This person is envious of you. This new highlight or promotion or is going to be very good for you in terms of you setting yourself on a different path. One of balance, right? One of the four of coins because he's holding a coin. You can read this card two ways. Either hold on to your coins or you're the one beginning to have the coins to hold on to, right? Um, I think that it's going to uh, be lucrative for you. Um, whatever this recognition is. We also have the nine of wands here, and this is a protection. You see these two wands, they have a very similar feel to them. Sh this one's ready for ba battle and ready to protect what she already has. And this one is um, protecting against uh, the coming attack, right? I want you to just be very, very careful because you are self-aware and you do understand. You, you kind of already knew this person could be a little shady, uh, but there are other qualities that you liked about them, and 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 you liked having a friendship at work. Don't bring them into your personal life because we have that emer emergence with that ace. You're coming into um, knowledge here, right? Full knowledge, full disclosure. I think that, again, whatever you're going to be recognized for is going to set you on a different path and you want to stay there. Now, moving over to the lover's card, I do have a feeling like, you either have taken up with a person from work and drawn them into your personal life. So not only discussing things at work, I think you actually hang out with this person in some capacity. I think there is are choices to be made in reference to whether to continue this or not. And there is a warning here that this person has some envy um, issues. And we have the King of Wands here. And I think it's that type of um <coughs> energy you need to be careful of. I want you to look at it from a different perspective here. I think you need to take a step back because you may care for this person, you know, because you have, they have moved over into the personal friendship zone. Um, but they have, you see this four of cups? Because you care for this person, this person has a grip on you and you are not seeing the bigger picture because what's being handed to you is an ace of cups and the traditional right away Smith. You're being handed something, but you're missing it because someone has their tentacles on you. Um, and I think you need to uh, try to block that as much as possible. At the bottom of this deck, you do have the judgment card. So this is gonna be transformative for you. Um, 
in a way. I think you really need to put up some barriers. I think you really need, and this is going to be very specific for uh, uh, one particular person. I think you do need to set up some barriers. If I was going to read this as a relationship read, because this is all relationship, right? This is all, all relationship, the left to the right, is be careful of someone who is invo you're involved with who is not being truthful, who holds some envy for you and doesn't always wish you the best. Um, this could be in a, if in, in, it could be a past relationship or it could be a current re relationship you're in. Um, and that again means any relationship, friendships, family, um, lovers. These are people who don't have your best intention and you are beginning to emerge and be stronger and follow your path here. And these are the people who are going to knock you off. Just be careful. Don't let business cross into personal is the ultimate message for you um let's give you a final oracle card here yeah see that temperance card is all about balance as well vastness that's what you're headed towards you're you're headed towards a brighter future here and be careful who you invite on that journey. And that ends your message. I'm Delilah Rose, and this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot.